Hey everybody, how are you tonight? Do you remember two weeks ago when we worked on this piece? Last night we had Miss Carrie Johnston from Rose City Boutique on, but last night, two weeks ago, no, two days ago, we put a gorgeous color wash. And if you want to learn more about that step by step, or if you want to, you can't remember the colors. We are posting a blog post on Thursday um, that will actually be on. Hello, Callie. We are actually giving a more information in written form, if that works for you, on Thursday's blog post. If you ever want to know how to do anything or learn more about my work, we do blog posts every other Thursday. So if you're not signed up for that, um, you won't get it in your inbox. And that doesn't mean the mailing list. It's different than the blog list. So if you want to get my blogs that are broken down into a, a lot more information, there's a lot more on um, involved in writing a blog post. I actually have help with that. Um, hello, hello. Hi guys, how are you? I just finished up my Talk To Me Tuesday with Luann Heck. And so um, she and I were visiting, learning more about her business and um, she's in the Creative Connection. And so that's what we do every Tuesday. So I'm running a little bit later than normal, but this piece was the one that started out in our hallway. There's Mr. Woods. Hi Did darling. Do you want me on tonight? I do want you on. Did you not know what time it was? Well, I did. When I looked at the time, I knew what time it was. <laughs> uh, everybody, how are you? Um, so we put this, I actually did this all on my own, but I put a color wash over it because it had looked like this for three years, but the blog post explains to you in depth exactly what I did, exactly my process, and also some pro tips that I added in as well. That will be out on Thursday. You can go to my website. You can click on, oh, Heather Watson, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to start texting you. <laughs> um, tells you exactly how we do this, um, how I like to do my color washes. And the sides, actually, the sides and the top look the most different. There's not as much difference going on here, but this yellow was not here before and the mint chip was not here before. There's also some cowgirl coral dripping on here that wasn't here before. And so I go into depth on that in the blog post and we we talked about that. <laughs> Please do. Okay. Two days ago when I actually changed it. So I'm going to put clear wax on it tonight. We won't be on very long. Um, clear wax. We're going to get it back into our bedroom in the hallway there. Um, I just was really ready to give it another look. I've decided not to do flowers. So for those of you that wanted me to do flowers, I'm sorry. I've decided not to do any at all. It's not a big piece and it already has so much going on that I decided it was probably going to be best if it just, if we just left it as is. So Matt picked up a buffet for me yesterday. He and Elijah brought it home and I think we're going to do an abstract on the front of the buffet. Oh yeah, so, I already decided that's what we were going to do. Oh, well, thank goodness you decided that. Yes. What would I do without you? Not have a piece of furniture. To work that's for that. sure. That's for sure. Well, Michelle found it. She sent me to Norman. I sent Matt and Elijah to Norman. While I were, well, hello, did somebody come say hello to us? <laughs> Go lay down, Susie. What are you doing? So I am just going to get my DIY. Now, guys, I have been using this wax brush from Paint Pixie for a very, oh, actually, this is DIYs. This is DIYs. This is the synthetic. I don't wash my wax brushes. I have never washed one. Now, Somebody washed mine at the retreat. And so it seems like it look, it's a little bit different. Um, but all I do to use my wax brush is I use my drop cloth, use my drop cloth and I soften my bristles and I just basically go over back and forth on my drop cloth. And then when I'm finished with it, I do the exact same thing and that's it. It never dries up. It never really stiffens. Um, and that I just, I don't want any moisture in my wax brushes. So I have um, clear white. I have one that's got turquoise for the verdigris wax, the new shipwrecked wax. And I have um, one that I use for black and brown. So I just use the same one for that. 
All right, so I'm just going to jump the clear on and notice the difference. I'm going to put the clear wax on half of it. And I want you to see the difference because DIY paint is a lot of, like a lot of chalk paints and it will dry so much lighter. And then once you put your top coat on, that color is saying ba bam. It's coming back. Ba bam, Matt. Oh, yeah. How are you? Are you are you logged on there? Over yeah, there? I'm good. I'm ready to go. Are you ready? Yeah. You got a song prepared? Please. It was a joke, baby. No, I do. I've been uh, thinking about it um, most of the day. It's a good one. Um, probably going to stick with the 80s genre. All right, name that tune. Maybe. Are you going to sing and then make them name it? I think that's that might be kind of fun. Oh, are you so good? Just, just give them kisses. I don't know what she's doing. Maybe see if she needs to go outside, honey. Let me go outside. I've got her attention. Okay, you see the difference down the side? Right down here, down the middle? Brings the intensity of that color back. Um, I am going to take some really good close-ups of this when I get the hardware back on. Um, Ooh, it's cold outside, Woods. you got a lot of texture going on right there. I do. There's a lot going on, which is why I decided once I got all of the, the layers on that there didn't need to be any flowers. I didn't want to cover up any of this. Um, I feel like this whole piece is just a total uh, art piece. Name that tune, says G. Willikers. Like putting on some lotion. That's right, Antonio. It just takes away all of the... Well, it, it kind of brings out the, the texture. Um, uh, Jasmine Isaac says, I was singing the happy song to my nephew today. Aww. That's what I'm talking about, Jasmine. That makes Matt so happy, That Jasmine. makes me so happy. Whether you truly were or not, that makes me happy. Yeah, he loves hearing that. And you guys will send me emails. Some of you have sent me emails saying you woke up Saturday morning singing H-A-P-P-Y. I'm J-P-P-Y. <laughs> Oh, look at this. So good. Yeah, that's nice. I like this third drawer. The third drawer is my favorite because it's got the yellow. Third drawer the from the bottom or third drawer from the top? Third drawer from the top. This one here is my favorite because the cowgirl coral settled in here and the yellow settled in there. Such a great combo. We'll do the sides here. Now, the sides look a lot different because they were really just bohemian blue. Uh, but I have added a lot of the yellow and mint chip to the side. So they look a lot different. And I'll show you that in just a second. I did the top after the live. So it's also been done. I'm ready to get it back in the hallway because we have our lamp sitting on it every night. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I think mine is the third drawer from the bottom. This one's yours? Yeah. A lot of people said this was their favorite drawer. I right really here. like that drawer. Right this here. one's mine. I can't. I, and I don't know. Um... I'm having a hard time because. Why? With what? I like the top of it. You like my firecracker color. I like all of them, but the, the third one. What? <laughs> You're such a turkey. Whoops, there was a thing under there. You're a turkey, Woods. So, this was really dark on the sides. It was mostly bohemian blue, so all of this is new. This was not here the other day. But we did it on the live from Sunday night. All right. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Irene got her apron yesterday. Yeah. She's over the moon. Irene, thank you for ordering the apron. That I is think so awesome. They I'm glad make you like it. Great Christmas presents. They're only $43 and they're much better quality than your traditional apron, that's for sure. They're really heavy duty. <laughs> who, are, who else on here has an apron? I think Heather Watson has one. <coughs> Those are really not, I mean, they feel good. I know, they feel like, they feel kind of like a beach towel. Yeah, like a, be a nice. heavy beach body towel. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm excited to get this piece finished. Tomorrow morning, I'll buff it and put it back in our bedroom. Crystal Coral Marie Molina says, Hi, hello, Crystal. can you remind me how you prepared this pre-wax Piece. I barely sanded it, like barely. And when I say that barely, I took my sanding sponge, 
very lightly went over it once. Basically, the the texture that you're seeing here, let me show you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys that have your aprons. Uh, I want you to see this all right here. You may hate that. You may look at that and think that looks terrible. I'm fine with that because I love it. But I want you to know this is what it looks like painting over the wax. But it's definitely sticking. But this, it, it pulled off just a little bit. The, the watered down menship. And well, I stinking love it. Hey, get this. Yes. Uh, Papa Max says, Irene, she said, uh, said she petted it for half an hour. The apron, it's <laughs> soft and cozy. I, they are. I remember the first time I... I Matt I likes to wear them. I was like, oh, yeah. Matt wears them. Lolly says, my husband might think I'm going to start cooking if I get an apron. Good call, Lolly. Call it a craft apron before actually, you Lolly, even... Actually, Lolly, what you need to do is get him one so then he thinks he needs to cook. <laughs> Bam. And he'd be so pretty in that blue flower. See the difference in the color, guys? The wax brings it, brings out that color. There's a lot more yellow and green on this. I think it looks awesome with the bohemian blue coming through. I just want to give it a different look. So tomorrow, um, what's tomorrow, Matt, Wednesday? Um, I don't know if we'll have that new piece in yet. I think we're going to work on canvas tomorrow. But by Thursday, we will have... The, the buffet in here that my Michelle found for us to paint. And we're going to give it an abstract look, guys. We're going to give it a look like we do on the canvas on the front of the piece of furniture. Lolly says uh, he does cook. Well, then, Lolly, what we could do is you could buy it for him, right? And say, I got you a new apron to cook in, and then just take it. You can pull a D on it. So I was going to say, so it's okay when I do that, babe? No, no, but you do it anyway. You're whether just it's right encouraging or wrong, Wally to do what right I Right or wrong, I mean, it, it's, I know it's it's the trick that women do. Well, honey, you need that, and then next thing you know, you can't find it because you took it. <laughs> <laughs> Who is tipping? Yes, uh, gee, I do cook, but I do not cook in the apron. I'm going to start, though. <laughs> Um, Michelle is always the turquoise iris on here and she is my admin and she posts links and helps us, helps us, um, get you guys the sources and the things that you need. So also today's the last night, you guys, we have a very close, um, race for the nominees for spread love. Um, very close as in only a couple of votes away from each other. Uh, you guys have gone and you voted and done an amazing job, but today is your last day. We are going to announce the winner tomorrow night who will get Miss Frenchie. So if you have not voted, uh, Michelle will post that link for you. It just takes a second, guys. You read the nominees and pick. We um, have been given $100 for shipping um, by one of you guys that watches all the time. Yeah, Crystal Core Marie Molina has a wonderful idea, and a lot of people are getting on board. Okay, what? Um, she says Matt uh, is going to do an apron modeling for the calendar. Really? Is that yeah. a good idea, baby? Yeah, we'll have like we'll have like me for like um, I'll I'll take four months. I'll take uh, four months. January, February, March, April. Zeb can take May, June, July, August. And? And then we'll throw in Rob and Derek in there. <laughs> but they can get a couple months apiece. What do you think? <laughs> oh, gosh. What do you think? That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. So you've always wanted to be a calendar model. So now's your chance. Well, I used to do it a, quite a bit. Um, <laughs> and, you know, GQ, they came, they came to me and they were like, hey, will you do a calendar? I'm like, no, no, you know. I got a lot of things going on, you know, electrician stuff. So uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. I've done a little bit of I've done a little bit of work, yeah. Yeah. Here and there. Yeah. He's all mine, guys. <laughs> Derek says. Oh, that's right. Hop. We could get Papa in there too. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Now I gotta figure out how to 
do this. I was going to put one of the original heart pieces on there and I want to brush them with some paint. Um, and then, you know, before you sign off, just make sure you show that top. Two people would like to see the top. Let me do oh, this. sure. Sure thing. We got it's Jan from Another Planet's in the house tonight. Hey, girl. She says, hello, hello, hello. Hey, girl. Oh, that's right. Gavin. Maybe we can throw Gavin. Gavin could probably just have his own. Oh, Gavin can have, have his have own like calendar. calendar. No offense, guys, but yeah. I'm sure Gav can work out his own calendar. I'm pretty sure he's going to have one. <laughs> All right. So these are the original. So I am going to put these babes back on. And for those of you that wanted to see the top, I will do that now because it's likely I shall forget. <laughs> Got Pam Dudley in the house tonight. Hi, Pam. Here's the top. I'm trying to be careful, guys. I don't want to move it too quickly so anybody gets sick. Um, a G Willikers is really excited about the calendar. She says, um, has some merit. Are you changing outfits? Fire, police, construction, cook. Yes. Um, that is the idea. Um, I'm not sure what, uh, maybe Rob, we could do Rob. He's a, he's a military guy. We can get him kind of dressed up in the uh, camo. Yeah. Where this, this conversation hey, has just gone artists, weird. They're thinking, these, this conversation has gone weird. Is that really weird? What do you think about I it? I think it is weird. A lot of hearts. I think it is weird. <laughs> you guys make sure you vote. Like I said, it's a very close contest. We had Tanette. Cheyenne and Kathy. Um, and it's a very close run with those beautiful, beautiful women who go above and beyond, who are excellent. I know Cheyenne's young, but I can call her a young little woman. Uh, thanks, Lois. It really, it really is beautiful. I um the colors once again were uh Queen Bee. And Carnival Red, I mixed them half and half to get this gorgeous color three years ago on one of my very first lives I did with Quita Allen of All Stabbed Out. Um, it was the episode where she busted out a water bottle and she just sprayed it on high and it shot across the room and we called it the, the power wash episode and she's been using it ever since then just to make us laugh. Um, I feel like she has much more control over it, um, but it does make us laugh. Then I blended it with this mermaid tail and kind of had it come up. There's a little bit of a kissing booth in here as well. And then the bottom has bohemian blue. Last night or Sunday night, we changed, changed everything. I was just going to show you what one of them, one drawer looked like before we go tonight. Uh, Derek side, Matt, I signed into my boyfriend's YouTube so you would see my comment. I need suggestions for lighting. You're the expert, right? Expert is a big word, and thank you for using it because you are absolutely correct. Um, oh, my word. I'm not sure what kind of uh, questions do you have? What are you needing? Are you needing, like, room lighting? Are you needing accent lighting? Are you needing photography lighting? What yeah, kind Track of lighting. Because he put up when I was at Waco, he I came home and he had put up five new track lights. Um, so we have five overhead, and then we have three ring lights. Which the ring lights are the halogen? Are they halogen, baby? LED. Which ones? The ring lights. I said. The ring lights are LED. And they're 18 inches round, and they have a little thing with a tripod in the center. Okay, Lindsay, I apologize if I did not see your comment on Facebook. Aww. Um, okay, so Lindsay, lighting for staging photos. Okay, Dion may want to take this one because the best, absolute best thing for photos is natural light. He listens. If at all possible. Usually natural Thanks, light is the best light you're ever going to get in a studio or anywhere if you're working. If, if you can, um, it's the best light, period. Um, so you really shouldn't use overhead lighting unless, you know, it's at night or you're actually doing photography or um, filming. Well, even with photography or filming, it yeah. just kind of depends on where you are. But for staging, if at all possible, find a room that has a south or a west facing window 
and try to stick with that as much as possible. Okay, um, we have no natural light in my apartment. No natural light. Uh, okay, well. Then we need that something that can mimic right. daylight, honey. So yeah, you need, you, Dion and I use ring lights. Um, they're portable, you can take them with you in a car. Um, you can load them up, they're really great. Um, I don't know. I don't know the name of this ring light. It's a Newar, N-E-W-E-E-R. Okay, uh, they're great because then you can set up your phone, you can set up your camera. They have attachments uh, to set up cameras or set up your phone. Um, but but are you telling her like that cans, like is there any overhead lighting? Like, if Well, she she's in an to... apartment, so she won't be able to do any, oh. add any lighting. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So the best thing to do is you can you can buy those. It's N E E W E R. Um, that's the name of the ring light. They're really good. We 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 have three of them which we use. Um, Dion really likes them. Uh, I do too. Um, but they they they're dimmable, so you can dim them down. You can change it to white light or more of a natural color with a yellow in it. Um, so they have different. Uh, color shades that you can put on there. Those are probably about the best for the price is what I would recommend for an apartment. Yep, because, oh, is that Abby? You should go ahead and stage the best you can with what you have at where you are. You don't need to wait. So um, that's the tricky part, I understand. A lot of people will say, well, I have to wait, wait until I get this. And sometimes I'm like, don't wait, just do it. Do it, do it with what you have right now to the best you can, to the best of your ability. Amazon has all kinds. Yeah, they do. Now, if you don't, if that's, the best if, drawer. If that's a little too, a little more than what you'd like to spend or, or can spend, um, go to uh, your, your electrical parts store, whether it be lock supply or um, Ace Hardware, you could go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy a plug-in shop light. Okay, it's got a silver reflector. Um, it's got a like a six ten bucks. Foot, yeah, six foot cord, and then you want to buy a light bulb that, to screw into it, um, which is going to be uh, it's going to be like a, a, a in between a yellow and a and a blue light. We call it white light, which is about a four thousand k light bulb. Um, they have those at the stores as well while you're there. So to do it, they clip on. So you can clip it on like maybe a ladder. You can clip it on an easel. You can clip it on anywhere, move it around and to get the optimal lighting. That's probably the most inexpensive way to do it. Dion and I used to do it that way. I had four or five of them before we bought these ring lights. Well, I only used two of them. When I first started doing lights, yeah. I just used two of them in the garage. And I just would angle them and hook them to the cabinet doors. And get them as close to the and it's not that it's the best it's just it's what i had um and honestly he kept wanting to buy me more lights and get more installed and i kept saying quit messing with my lights uh, i like it yeah the, the umbrella type lights are those those are work too um you know those are those are going to give you a more of a little bit softer light yeah, which, which will be sense. just fine uh that that will be uh I'm, i just i want you to have enough light you know because usually a lot of times they use those um, you know, they have, there, there's additional light other than that. Cause what that does is, is it creates a flash. It's a diffuser light. Yeah. Too. It's more of a diffuser, uh, because the, you know, you get a bright light that it diffuses. So, um, I'm not saying that wouldn't work. Um, it just kind of depends, but the ring lights are a pretty safe bet. Uh, unless you want to, don't want to spend that kind of money and you can always do it by just temporary shop lights, um, work as well. You can even. Um, I know some people buy uh, like shop lights on a stand. Uh, you can buy those at any hardware store as well. So one of one of the artists that I follow, she has bought like shop lights, and she had an electrician install them from the ceiling on a pole, and so she can shift her light and direct it that way. And she, I guess, she paints in her studio, you know, the same spot all the time. Okay, so the copper really brightened them up. Let me give you a closer look before we go. And she's right up in our business. Sorry about that, guys. She is really needing some attention. Um, you know, as far as the light bulbs that Dion, I like to use and Dion likes, they're a, they're a 4,000K. Um, you can find them just about anywhere. Um, good. Anything higher than a, than a, than a 3,000 is, is good. You get into your 5,000s, it's a little too blue. 
So stick around the, the 4,000 area, 3,500 or 4,000 on the far as the color of the light bulb. She's in all up in her business. Yeah, she's like three inches from the phone. Okay. Here. Is you, it a copper? Cortina can you, it is. It's or, a copper. I use okay. pennies from heaven. I need you to sit. Daddy. Okay. Go sit by my daddy. So all I'm going to do is the exact same thing on all of these pieces. Tomorrow I'll come in here when the wax is completely dry, give it a good buff, and I will carry it back into the hallway, put the lamp back on it, and I'll be good. Um, I adore this. I know um, it's a lot, but, you know, I did it on a small piece. I think in a grander scale you could do it. But again, I painted this three years ago. I thought I would paint over it. I thought I would add flowers. But honestly, once we added the wash, I just decided, nope, I still love it so much. Um, so I changed up with the sides because it's in the hallway. So I don't even see the whole front. I mostly see the sides of it. So those are a lot lighter, lightened it up a little bit more. Um, and once Matt gets the bedroom painted, <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, it's funny stuff. Uh, it will pop off the wall a lot better than it does off the brown. So um, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I know this wasn't a whole lot, but it needed to be done. This was my first chance to do it. And I appreciate you all. This was just clear wax. DIY wax is, um, an all natural literally says it's made with love beeswax, carnauba wax, candelia wax, or candelilla. So recent, and I, I mean, it, it only has like five ingredients. So there it's very, um, non-toxic shall i say also there are qr codes on all of diy paint products so if you hold your phone over that on your phone and iphone i don't know about androids a video pops up and tells you how to use it i'm getting shamed you're getting shamed mm -hmm. thank you thank you dion thank you dion for having our friends shame me I didn't put them up to it, honey. Derek says it's still not done. <laughs> so I decided maybe I'd ask for it for Christmas. I mean, I don't know. If I ask for one thing, will I get it? It's yet to be determined, but I put it on my Christmas list. Uh, but what I also thought is that we would set up in there um, during the holidays, and Matt and I would probably paint it together because... It will go faster. Obviously, teamwork makes a dream work, right? So I figured if I set up in there, we would basically be doing our lives. Derek goes, which Christmas? Question mark, question mark, question Derek, mark. Derek, 2023. 2023. Uh, but anyway, I thought we would go into the room and do a few lives in there so we could actually promise you guys would be on, plus paint, plus get the room done, plus he'd have his Christmas present done. Um, so again, you guys pop on over there and do the voting really quickly. Okay. Um, do that, do that. Hey, hey, Jordan work. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, do, do the vote because where there, there are, um, like it's a very close, all three of them are all like, so, um, we will have to choose the winner and they're all winners. And that's an awkward thing to say, but the person with the most votes will receive the dresser, Miss Frenchie. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for popping on. Sorry we were a little bit late. I paid you $5 to paint the bedroom, Lisa Dixon says. Go get it, Matt. I know. I'll get it. Check now. out Christy's latest piece. Okay. I will. I, I, guys, I'm busy. I'm busy with making up content for this, for, for our 100 lives. Really? Yeah. See, you hear that silence? It's just because nobody knows what to say, Matt. It's hard to argue with facts. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. We'll see you guys tomorrow night, 8.30 Central Time. Good night. See you.